Hello, Monique. It is Thursday, June 14th, 2012, and it is day 11 of the project. I don't really know. And I'm not in the mood to go to YouTube and check it again. Um, let me just say how happy I am that tomorrow is Friday. It's, it's been a long week. It's been a very, very, very long week. Between the crazy weather and just work kind of draining me down for whatever reason right now. And my hair being completely and utterly insane, which is why I'm wearing the hat. This is William, by the way. And he is a most fantastic hat. He is a kitty, as you can see. I love him more, very much. Anyhow, I just got out of the shower, and I don't want to take care of my hair right now. I'm getting it cut this weekend, and I'm so very, very, very happy. Yeah, I did, this week has just it's not been that great at all. Um... Yesterday we went over to the our sister park and I had to mow there and although usually I like mowing yesterday I wanted to shoot myself or you know run over my gut or something with that mower because it's just it's a piece of crap on so many levels and I hope it honestly like burns in the deepest foulest pits of down below because I have never hated something so much in such a very long time. So yeah, as you know, my birthday is on Monday, or if you didn't know, now you do know. And this is going to be the first year in quite a while that I'm not actually having a party. And it's for a variety of reasons, I guess. I just, I don't want to organize something this year, because almost nobody can make it anyways. And it's just, it's kind of like, you know, I invite like 20 people and four show up. And it just kind of cuts down on the fun. And... I didn't know what I would do, considering it's my 21st, and, you know, being my 21st birthday, people are probably going to expect, you know, big parties, big drinking, blah, blah, blah. I did kind of entertain the idea of maybe having my birthday and going to drum heller for the day, but now I just, I just, I just don't want to. So, and it's on a Monday this year, so it even stinks even more. So, I guess I'm going out for supper, and that's about it. Um, but I am kind of hoping that I will get a new iPod for my birthday because the one that I have right now, although it still works, it's just losing its quality right now, like, fast. And other than that, I'm so happy that you're reading 9-11-10. You will not regret it. That I've, I have not read much else fan fiction or otherwise, that is that well written and can get that much emotion out of me. There's one scene. It's a death scene, but it's not really, it's, it's not spoiler at all. It's really not. And it's so well written, and I cried and cried after, and it's just, it's amazing. And I'm so glad that you're reading it. And as for Phantom of the Opera being a horror story, well, you know my taste in books and otherwise. I read that stuff all the time. And as for Les Mis being a depressing story, well, revolutionary France was not a happy place. I think pretty much everyone except for maybe Robespierre was unhappy on great levels. So, not a terribly huge surprise there. Anyhow, I think I'm going to wrap this up now, and I will see your movie tomorrow, and I will see you physically tomorrow, and I will hopefully be around town in about 7 ish I'm hoping. I don't know if my dad's coming. I need to clean the cabin. I will talk to you later. Bye.